Coaches, good to see you back this week at the PGC Coaches Circle. We've got two hacks for you today, one on building your culture and one on the offensive end, how to make a little bit more productive player. So I'm here with Graham, and Graham, I'm going to start us out here talking about uh, character. And, and one of the hacks is making sure that you teach every character moment that you possibly can. And, you know, hopefully you do that because that's who you are as a coach and you want to make sure that you have players that are built of character so in the long run they become better men and women, but more importantly, right now in the midst of your season, why does character matter? And character matters for, you know, a couple of reasons. I, I tweeted this out the other day and a lot of coaches had questions about it, but I said, you know, it's not the strength of the storm that matters, but it's the strength of your character that matters. And I think that's transparent or plays out with a team. You know, when a team has really good character and those hard moments come, you're going to get through them a lot better. And if you want to have the best team you could possibly have, you're going to build a team of characters so that they have strong roots for when that storm does come. Now, everybody's in a different place and where they are with their character. It doesn't matter where they are. But what, what is really important is where they're headed. The direction of their character is crucial to the success of your team and really to them in the future of who they are going to become after their basketball career or when they, who they are off of the court. Next, we're going to talk about an offensive hack. Yeah, an offensive hack today is catching the ball under control. And we do this in a drill we call the sit on it drill. And as you'll see our players in practice, they catch the ball under control. And we really want them to focus on two things. We really want them to sell a really good shot fake. And the second thing we want them to focus on is changing their speed. Because we have some players who are fast and some players who aren't that fast. But what you'll find is when you change your speed, you're actually faster or quicker than you normally are. And so we're focusing on those two things, as well as having our players play under control so they don't travel, so they don't get carried away right into a turnover. And you'll see that within our sit on it drill. Yeah, and there's you know multiple facets to this drill right here. Even though it is so simple in what you're doing, just having players catch and sit on it, like all the things you alluded to, their quickness and uh, lowering turnovers, which is often the difference between winning um, and losing. But uh, making players better offensively, helping them to every time they catch be a threat. When you threaten the defense, you're going to get different looks than when you don't threaten the defense. So let's take a look. So coaches, there you are with the sit on it drill and players just keep rotating. We have them go right and then we have them go left each time they sit on it just to add a little bit of footwork and that first step penetration, which is, is so key. Uh, but they're just constantly sitting on their catch. And you'll be really happy with how fast this translates into the actual game. If you're drilling this on a one minute drill, maybe every other day or something like that, they're going to become better receivers of the ball. They're going to threaten the defense more, and you're going to get better looks. Next uh, dimension or thing you would want to add to this is probably some fakes, some pass fakes and some shot fakes. But if you can get them to get that half second to one second pause, they're going to play with a lot more control and put a lot more pressure on the defense. And finally, just wrap it up with one more thought about character. As you're working through each one of those moments with your players, the impact that you're going to have is obviously so important on them and the future of who they're going to be. And that's why you can't let those things go. There's a lot of things that are going to happen over the course of the season that are really teachable moments that are going to impact their character and in turn impact the character of your team, which is going to make you stronger with deeper roots and a better basketball team. Good luck this week, coaches.